Welcome back to another Uncharted 4 video. I am Harbert Silencer, and we are starting off with Chapter 6, I think? I don't know, we'll figure it out. Alright. Once a thief. Okay. I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here, you mean. With you. In Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Eh, uh, well. Well, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh. Uh, so this this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. Okay. Oh, here we are. Gonna swing. Just a rage. Oh, swing, swing on there. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? Watch and learn, Sam. Watch and learn. Oh, okay. Um. I missed. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Watch and learn. No, I got it. All right. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Hey, bet we can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Uh, where though? Swing on the beam. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. What? Oh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> First try. All right. No one likes a show off. Yeah. Show off. Okay. Come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renna thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need him. I hope you're right. Ah, all those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. That should gonna repel down. Yep. <laughs> Woo. All right, come on down. Tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, did you at least take any pictures? Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <laughs> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Jeez, that was such a long jump. Woo! Uh... How? <laughs> exactly? 
It'd suck if you missed oh. right now. Sure would. But I don't miss. Whew. Thanks, bud. There you go. Hi. Thanks. Uh, Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. How? What? Okay. How are they moving in right? suits like that? That would be so hard to like jump right. around and. Like Is there any tears? Miles. Let's go. What the hell? Oh, oh who's that? Sully. Oh, it's Sully. Know what I love about party and with Damn, he looks old. What's that? Nobody cares if Oh, I guess it's not that bad. <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. Damn. You remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be gone, Dan. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, the guards see us <laughs> making for that cross. But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And that'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? I'm all set. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Would you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room. Kill the power. I mean, I'm the waiter. You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything, uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up and go on. Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hell no. What's this? Oh, it's a but then a few months back, list of the stuff they're bidding. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, we uh, obtained last year, you know, those cellars. Cellars just through there. Let's go. This place is fancy. Of course they play they do she European techno. Scusi? Here we are. Let's do this. Of 
course it's locked. The hell it's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Oh, real smooth. I'm not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Hey, we got it. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. So out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Dang, she buff. Catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. Well, I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. Learn one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. Oh, geez. Crap. Here's the big guys. Nah, uh, just more heavily armed goons. Is this skate wasn't on the blueprint? Unlocked, of course. Okay, plan B. Um, some ventilation up here, maybe. You eyeballing that ventilation. Oh. oh what the? Oh. See some fence up there. Yeah, 
Jesus, go. dark. Oh my god. Let there be light. Got oh. electrical in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Now, oh, good thing Sully's driving. <sighs> Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. Uh... That's a lot of really rare vintage. Hey, uh, should be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. Heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. I can talk his way out of anything. Look, the vents. That's our way out. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Hold the lighter. Okay, up we go. All right, there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? And a lot more dusty. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? Oh, oh. Uh, size too. Oh shit, this guy was a gun. Fresh air, here we come. How did I get dark so quickly? Check this out. See that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Mm. Ah, here. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? That must be a bad spot for us. Sam, look. Maybe we can use that to find a window, drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up and you take care of the ladder. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> You're just sitting there. Buona <laughs> sera. What are you doing? We are the civilians, Sam. What? We're waiting to put a headache in his underwear. 
We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. All right. Oh, great. Okay, let's get to the power room. <clears throat> Sam, you good? Yeah, these pants are just a little bit too tight. <sighs> yeah, well, that's the style these days. Nah, because we're in Italy. I get it. <laughs> Sam, you there? <clears throat> Sam? Sully? Great. Oh, there it is. Guys, if you can hear me, I'm just about at the power room. Should be there soon. Ish. Yeah. Had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> recognize someone no I thought I did but no but when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours Drake well, that's ex partner mm. yeah I've been flying solo for a while now Drake's out oh like dead oh oh no more like retired mm. last I heard he settled down got married mm. well then he might as well be dead right <laughs> Victor Sullivan Hello, Rafe. How long has Jeez, it been? Jesus, this guy. Ten years, twelve, fifteen. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by. Here we are. We're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big scores. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah. I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but, um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Oh, jeez. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. See? <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item. An inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Just hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. Whoa. I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. get my point lovely seeing you both Nate Nate God damn it kid where the hell are you okay power room I can do this God, why did I pick the power room?
Aha. Stasera può bastare. Ma che diavolo? Pronto? Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Ah, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid, where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but. Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the we power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Oh, screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That Don't worry. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. All right. Okay. Nope. Just gotta smash the lock. Oh, what the? Now what? Okay. Nope. We are now at 140. Nothing. Damn it. Your bid, Signore, takes us all the way to 140. Gotta be something. Come on. Hey, man, uh, I'm starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. Stands at 160,000 euros. Yes. Signore's bid makes 170,000. We are now at 180,000 euros. <laughs> gotcha. And now reached 190,000 euros. All right, boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's bid, 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? We are going once, going twice, then I shall sell it for 500,000. And ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The back of power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it, get out of the way. Stop him. Hey, stop that guy. Fermo. What are you doing? You're letting him get away. You speak Spanish. Oh boy. Sam, tell me you got the cross. Oh. And it looks like this is going to be the end of it. Really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballrooms locked down, security scrambling. So, uh, looks like the next episode would be escaping safely, hopefully, and not killing anybody, but you know, uncharted, you kill everybody. So, uh, Make sure if you liked it, please subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.